Since we're already familiar with using a protractor to measure angles, using a protractor to draw angles is fairly easy. We'll recognize the same basic principles. So let's jump into our examples. Example 1. Draw a 50 degree angle called angle ABC. We need a reference line for our angle and we can use the bottom of our protractor as a straight edge to make this line. And now let's label our line. Let's mark the vertex B with a clear dot on the end of the line here and at some other point on the line we can mark A or C. Let's choose C and show it here. Now we can line up our protractor in the same way that we did when we were measuring. That is the midpoint of the protractor on the vertex and the zero line on our line BC, our reference side. It's time to measure. From our reference line BC, we measure 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. And we make a little dot here at 50 degrees. We can draw our angle side AB by drawing a line that goes from B through our new dot. And we can mark here and label it as A. And here we go. We have our angle ABC. And we can mark the angle in here as 50 degrees. Example 2. Draw a 120 degree angle called angle DEF. We'll do it in steps this time. Step 1. We need a reference side, so we use the bottom of our protractor as a straight edge and make a line. Step 2. Labeling our line. So let's mark the vertex E with a clear dot here and at some other point we will mark F. Step 3. We line up our protractor, same way as we did when measuring, the midpoint on the vertex and the zero on our line EF. Step 4. It's time to measure. From our reference line, EF, we measure 10, 20, well let's jump up to 90 degrees, carry on, 100, 110, 120, and let's make a little dot here at our 120 degrees. Step 5. We can draw our angle side DE by drawing a line that goes from E through our new dot, and we can mark it up here as D. And there we go. We have our angle DEF. And we can mark our angle in here as 120 degrees. In this tutorial, we looked at how to draw an angle using a protractor. Let's review our steps. Step 1. We first draw a reference side for our angle. Step 2. We label our line. Mark the vertex and then mark another point on our reference side. Step 3. We line up our protractor, the midpoint on the vertex, and the zero line on our reference side. Step 4. With our protractor in place, we can identify the angle we're looking for and make a mark. Step 5. We draw our remaining angle side from the vertex through our new dot, and we have our angle.